Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly unflood a leaf blower without using any special tools. Now today I'll be showing you how to do that on this handheld still BG56C leaf blower. The same principle will apply to all other leaf blowers, including other makes as well. So before I go ahead and unflood this machine here, I just want to let you guys know a few reasons why your leaf blower may have become flooded. Now the first and most common reason I see why people have flooded their equipment is because they've kept pulling it with the choke left on. By doing that you're just feeding more fuel inside the cylinder and just flooding it even more and more. Now the second reason I see why people have flooded their machines is because sometimes they've pulled the machine over and over with the switch off. With this steel blower here it's pretty well impossible to do that because when you turn it off it springs back to the on position but not every blower on the market does that so some blowers the switch will actually stay in the off position and you manually have to go and put it back in the on position so it's highly unlikely this happened with this machine here but with other brands you may want to double check your switch and the third reason why i see a lot of people flood their machines is because they've probably never ever replaced the spark plug the spark plug's not working right and it's flooding the machine now some telltale signs that will indicate that your machine is flooded is if you see some fuel coming out of the muffler. Now that doesn't always happen in every case. Another way to know if your machine is flooded is if you take out the spark plug and it's wet. But the method I'm going to show you today on how to unflood this is super quick and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video you don't need any tools. So basically if you suspect your machine is flooded all you have to do make sure the switch is on. Make sure your choke is completely off. And then what you want to do is hold the throttle wide open and keep pulling until the machine fires up. Now sometimes it can take just a few pulls or sometimes a dozen or more pulls to get your machine unflooded. So I'm going to get started here, throttle wide open, choke off, and I'm going to pull it until it starts. If you're indoors, make sure that you have proper ventilation. So we're going on about six poles here. So what you want to do is keep pulling until you hear it starting to sputter. There we go, it's almost unflooded now. So that's all there is to it guys. You can see there was a lot of gas in there because it did come out of the muffler. That was surely a telltale sign that it was indeed flooded. Now in some cases what you might want to do is replace your spark plug or take it out and wipe it if it won't start after 6 to 10 pulls like I did here. And you also want to make sure the spark plug is good in your machine. Now if you've done everything I've showed you in the video, you've checked the plug, you've pulled it over with the choke off, throttle wide open and it's still flooding what you might have to do is replace the carb kit in the carburetor. And the reason why your carb kit sometimes may be flooding your machine continually is because the metering diaphragm over here gets hard and in turn it's pushing down the metering lever which opens up the needle valve. And here we go, I've got the metering diaphragm off and sometimes it's going to be hard and stiff and stuck in a position where it's actually pushing this lever down here and keeping the needle valve opened up all the time when that little needle valve is open there's a constant flow of fuel being fed to the engine so i've seen that quite often i've actually recently uploaded a video if you look in the top right hand corner of your screen right now you can watch that video and i explain more in depth as to why the carb kit might be making your machine flooded all the time so hopefully this video has helped you guys just remember make sure the switch is on Make sure you've got a good spark plug and that your choke is off and that your throttle is kept wide open while you're pulling the machine. So thanks again for watching guys and make sure you're following me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and you guys have a great day.